I'm Dr. Avellini. I'm a physician and cosmetic surgeon. I've been teaching with Empire Medical Training for more than 10 years now, and I'd like to take this opportunity to demonstrate the correct method of reconstituting a vial of neuromuscular blocking agents. As always, when performing a medical procedure, good aseptic technique and sharp precautions should be followed at all times, including gloves and sharp containers. This demonstration is is going to show you the correct or FDA and manufacturer's recommendation for reconstitution of a vial of neuromuscular blocking agents. The reconstitution rate according to manufacturer and the FDA is 2.5 ml of normal saline, sodium chloride, into a vial of 100 units of neuromuscular blocking agents. The protein in the, in the product is very, very, very sensitive, so care must be taken when you reconstitute it as to not to agitate it significantly to denature it. When inserting the needle into the vacuum, the first precaution you need to follow is placing your index finger on the plunger of the syringe to prevent a rapid draw into the vacuum container. With that pressure, you want to place the needle through the plunger at an angle that's going to put the product down the side and by slowly releasing the pressure on the plunger you'll be able to monitor the volume and fluid going into the vial at a very slow rate. Remember the precaution here is not to denature the product and you can see the plunger advancing as I release the pressure. After the plunger finishes and touches the bottom of the syringe you want to remove the syringe from the needle and you can grab the vial and the needle on a 90 degree angle and rotate it as to make sure all of the products gets mixed with the dilution solution. That being done and at that point you can take your injection syringe, fasten it to the dilution needle and draw up the appropriate volume or units of both of toxin necessary for your treatment, which will typically be between 20 and 30 units. So at this dilution ratio of 2.5 ml, each tenth of an ml will be four units of toxin, and to inject 24 units, which is what our first treatment is going to be, we need 0.6 ml of volume. After that's drawn up, you can remove the needle from the vial, place it gently, and attach an injection syringe, which can be either 30, 31, or 32 gauge half inch needle, firmly attached, and now you're ready for your injection process. Remember, safety and cleanliness, aseptic technique and sharps precaution will give you the best results in patient treatment. Thank you very much.